Good morning, watch fans. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. The beater watch. Everyone should have a beater watch. You should have a watch that you can just put on and it's tough and durable and you haven't got to worry about it breaking or anything else. And here I have four examples of a very good beater watch. None are relatively too expensive. I think the cheapest one here, if you got this one on a resin, you could get it for 150 in a different color. On the black and white, you'd have to pay a premium up to $200 for it. But you can get just a basic G-Shock on a resin, this G-Shock, round one, for 150 bucks. You can get the square G-Shock for just under 100 You can get the steel one for 300 bucks or thereabouts, 350 You can make your own steel one like I did for well under 300 bucks. Yeah, I think I made this one for 250 bucks using Chinese parts out of AliExpress. You can just buy a super tough 100 meter water resistant pilot watch from Long Island Watch, the Islander series. This is the Islander pilot watch. You know, this is 200 bucks delivered to your door. NH35, a date, uh, 32 hours, 42 hours of power reserve. Uh, comes on a decent strap, a really nice leather strap. I prefer rubber just because I think it matches the face really well. Keeps good times, it's a five second a day watch. It's a perfectly good beater because it's only 200 bucks. And of course, one of the all time favorite dive beaters is the SKX. This is a seriously heavily modified SKX, but the seals are all Seiko. The movement is a Seiko movement. Everything about this is a Seiko watch. So really, it's just a cosmetic change. Uh, it has an NH35 movement, which is just an upgrade to the 7S movement. But really, it's all Seiko, 100% Seiko. You could buy a regular SKX for 300 bucks. You could buy from Mark at Long Island Watch his version for 300 bucks. Um, his version is actually an NH35 movement like this one and a Sapphire Crystal like this one. You know, you can build this watch like I did for 450 bucks. You can buy it from Mark for 300 bucks. Or you could just find your own SKX 007 on the interwebs for 300 bucks. I think the SKX is a great beater watch. It's t proven watch, a proven watch. It's been around a long time, many years. Uh, people have beat the snot out of this thing, take it really diving. They take it, you know, washing cars and playing baseball and everything else. It's a very good watch. For me personally, I think the perfect, perfect beater, the CO G-Shocks. Um, you know, they take a beating. They really do. This one has... Of all the G-Shocks I have, this one gets the most wear time, mostly because of the aftermarket combi bracelet. It came off of another Casio. But this gets a lot of bling time when I'm just going to hang out with the family. and want to jump in the water or something, I can put this on. It's a beautiful stainless steel watch. Nothing wrong with this whatsoever. It's got a wicked scratch on it. You can see I've worn the daylights out of it. That scratch isn't coming off anytime soon. But again, these watches get worn. This is a $100 bracelet and uh, case cover. It's not really a case not really the case, man. it's the actual cover you snap in place and screw on with these little screws. So, you know, I have the original parts for it. I can return this back to a $100 Casio. I believe this is a 5610. Let me take a look. Yep, M5610. So I can turn it back to its original self in under five minutes. And I, everything is untouched in a drawer, you know, in my little box of junk. Perfect beater watch. On resin, on steel. You know, or just a casual dive watch that's got a really well-made case, brushed everything so the scratches don't show up. Sapphire Crystal makes it very bulletproof. You know, nice $200. Ooh, look, I've already scratched it. Nice. Nice $200 beater watch. So I can get that scratch out and I get lucky. woo I got it out. So, nice $200 beater watch. Again, nothing wrong with that at all. You know, Mark produces a great watch. It's very accurate, way more accurate than it has a right to be. It's actually probably, because I think he probably, he probably regulates it, I'm guessing. Uh, probably doesn't do the slap in there, probably actually tests it and gets it down at the right time. You know, Seiko 007s are running plus 30 to minus 15, I think, a day is what they run, uh, is the spec. Uh, and I've always had them run much better than that. So the 007s are a great everyday beater. 
pick a bit pick a beater i personally wouldn't take a very expensive watch as a beater but i do know someone who has one of these has his everyday beater he wears it everywhere you know he has it on a bracelet he has it on a strap he has it on a nato and this is his everyday beater you know it's a tutor it's a 2500 dollar tutor watch great watch i'm not sure it's a beater watch but it's a great watch and i would be really concerned about beating this up too badly Though mine has got some marks on it, you know, because I do wear it. I'm not exactly gentle with my watches, but I wouldn't chop wood with this on. I would at least put it in my pocket. Um, but I would chop wood with one of these on. Because these are 300 bucks, you know. That's it. You know, that's where they are. If this was on rubber and by itself, it'd be a $150 watch. And I would have no problem chopping wood or changing oil in the car or, you know, doing a tire job or whatever I have to do on my car. It wouldn't bother me in the least. So think about a great beater watch. I would love to hear your suggestions. Keep it cheap. Keep it simple. I know most people are going to pick a G-Shock because they're G-Shocks. They are pretty much indestructible. Mine survived four. My original one survived four car crashes. Three motorcycle crashes and a regular car crash. Eventually it had no bezel. You know what? It still kept time. After eight years, it had the original battery. It had no bezel. You couldn't work the buttons anymore. And it was a pocket watch. But it still kept great time. So the G-Shock is always going to be top of my list for a beater watch. This has been Big Jim with the Big Wrist talking about watches. What's your idea of a great beater watch? Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.